Okay, hello guys. Welcome once again to this quick one. I remain Rookman. Last week, somebody um, reached out to me and was talking about cartoon voices. How do you make cartoon voices? This is one question that I have always asked. How do they do it? Because when you listen to those um, um, cartoon voices in those awesome Hollywood movies that you you watch most of the time, the way the voices come out, it's really amazing. Um, where top actors like Will Smith, um, The Rock play different roles uh, and it almost doesn't sound like them. Well, I'm still doing my research because I have learned that um, most movies uh, made in Hollywood, they create their own software that they use specifically for creating such type of voices. And also, that does not mean that we cannot manipulate um, voices while you are trying to create animation with what we have. So I'll be introducing you to one of the key plugins in Adobe Audition that you can use to create um, such cartoon voices in whichever way you can. So in this um, quick tutorial, it will just be a surface explanation to give you an idea on what you can do and how you can do it so that you can work easily while trying to create such type of voices for your animation or whatever um, thing you are creating maybe for voiceovers or maybe you are trying to create um, voiceover of a kid because I could remember I was trying to record a song and I had to record that song with my voice but they needed a kid to be in that song and at that moment I couldn't get a kid to sing the way I want the kid to sing so I had to switch the voice to, to a kid's voice and voila there it is with no further ado this is what you should do so before you get started, if you don't know what Adobe Audition is, Adobe Audition is a recording software for studio production, for voiceovering, audio, and whatever, everything audio that you want to do, used mostly in radio broadcasting, TV, and etc. So I'll be using Adobe CC 2019 to explain um, what I want to explain to you. So if you don't have that, you should go get it and so that you can learn something beautiful. Okay. So I think I should play that song for you where I use that cartoon, that kid's voice to create a song so you hear how it is. Then I will now show you how I did that so that you can understand more what I'm talking about. All right. Okay. So this is the song. This We should listen to it real quickly. <laughs> <laughs> we can share a bowl, we can share a pencil, we can sit on the table, we can learn together, but there's something that we don't share. <laughs> Keep your sneeze to yourself when you feel it coming. There's a so the voice you hear in the background is still my voice, but I had to pitch it a bit so that it sounds more like a kid. Tissue on the table, you should use it properly. You can sneeze into your elbow, stop the germs from spreading. Keep your sneeze to yourself, keep your sneeze to yourself. So that's the idea and what I'm trying to show you at the moment. So I have done a quick recording here of a simple voice. Let's listen to it. This is the return of Jaguar, the inventive master. This is the return of Jaguar, the inventive master. So you can see we have two different um, voices here and just to make sure um, you note this, whenever you're trying to create a cartoon voice for your project, you should make sure you have great actors, great voice actors so that their presentation will make it real. And when you apply the necessary effect, it just blends. But if you don't have great actors and the voice overing is not really that good, when you're applying this effect, it may not come out as you would want it and it may not be of standard. So for you to apply an effect right now, you can do it in two ways. But when you come to audition here, this is audition. In subsequent videos to come, I'll be explaining to you how to really use audition. But this video is just to show you straight up what to do in audition when you want to create a cartoon voice. All right. So you have your recording here in audition. You can record in a different software. If you don't know how to record in audition, then you bring it back into audition and do your recording. Or if you want to record in audition, you could just Google it or YouTube it. There are so many videos there. So I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. There are so many things to do in audition. When you're here in audition, excuse me, 
you make sure you are highlight you highlight the first track or whichever track your audio is on it may be on this one you can see this is highlighted but this is the one we are working with so just make sure it's highlighted like this then you come down here to track where you input your effect you click this um, arrow at this point you click the arrow at this point you scroll down to time and pitch then you come down here to pitch shift that is all so all you have to do right now is play it and listen to it then you play around with these knobs right here left right and center you now listen to it to know the type of voice you want to do it might be a deep voice it might be a kid's voice or it might be a semi pitched voice so whichever you just play around with it and use it for to satisfy your needs okay so I will take this a bit further to up, up to five, then we'll play to listen. This is the return of Jaguar, the inventive master. So you can see it's already sounding really, really, really dope. All right. And it sounds like a kid. This is the return of Jaguar, the inventive master. So let's listen to the second one. This is the return of Jaguar, the inventive master. So you could see the first one sounds much more proper because it's it has more finesse. It's well acted out. While the second one it just feels plain because it it feels like it was just read. So that's what I'm trying to explain to you that your actor need to, needs to do a great job so that when you apply these effects it works out properly. So that means you need to get good voice over artists before you apply these effects. So the reason I'm teaching you this is because as a solo animator, you may not have enough budget to pay for studio time to get such works done for you. You could just run it yourself, at least at the moment, before you, you know, get more money to do what you have to do. All right. So we can also take this further up until 12 and we listen to it. This is the return of Jaguar, the inventive master. Okay, you can see now you now have a voice like, um, or what they call it? Those little rats that run up and down. Oh, I've forgotten their name. This is the return of Jaguar, the inventive master. But usually you don't really want to pitch it too much because it's starts to deter a bit so for me i think in between five to ten depending on the kids um depending on the child voice you are trying to uh, recreate this is the return of jaguar the inventive master so you know and also while your actors are voice overing they will also try to make their voice much more smaller much more kiddish much more fun to listen to so that when you apply these effects it just blends all right so that's the whole idea so you play around with these knobs and um, that's it this is the return of jaguar the inventive master so you can see now this voice is much more uh, deep and angry and scary so that is all i'm saying this pitch shift effect would help you create whatever type of animated voice you want to create at any time you want. So keep your eyes peeled for my subsequent videos and do check out the videos that are coming because I'm creating a full complete course on this very soon so that you will be able to learn how to use Adobe Audition to mix and master your audio for your project and every other thing that you need to add all the effects you need to add to your audio to make it really really creeps so that you can at any time of the day while working on a project create that top quality audio that you can use for all your projects and it will be received anywhere any place and any time so until the next video, see ya, keep practicing and keep learning. I remain Rookman and please subscribe to my channel, share this video and tell a friend about it. See you next time.